Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to another episode of Total War Arena. So today we have got another elephant review. Um, this time looking at the uh, in tier, tier 6 African war elephants. Um, so if you remember my last review I did on the tier 5 premium, but really these are the actual sort of uh, in tier uh, credit units that you have to pay for that you can buy in the game. Uh, so this is the lowest tier elephants you can get without uh, purchasing the premium units and they play very similarly. They, they are pretty cool. Uh, they don't look quite as cool because they've not got all like the war paint and finery and everything that they, the, the, um, the Surus premium elephants have. But they are big beastie things and I quite thin. <laughs> can't imagine this makes a terrible amount of difference. Maybe that's how you kill an elephant, stab it through its head maybe. Um, so yes they've got a crate, similar setup. A couple of javelin men stack on the back. Um, and they just trample and stamp through everything basically these guys um, abilities wise um, an equipment is pretty basic equipment upgrade uh, you can just basically upgrade everything slightly a uh, basic elephant padding which gives slight increase to body armor and movement speed um, which I'm kind of looking forward to getting because they're actually already pretty fast by the time you add another 6% movement speed these guys are just going to be blisteringly fast uh, a crate uh, which is like the basket where the people stand at the back Slight missile block chance, morale and view range. Well, morale is pointless because elephants basically never route. So, view range is not exactly the most useful ability. Um, and the Tusk Blaze is just a basic weapon increase. It gives a little bit more damage versus elephants and a little bit more damage versus infantry, etc. Um, so, kind of useful. But I think this body armor, the, the extra speed, is probably the most useful thing. It allows you to a better chance of being able to get out of the way when javelins get close and that sort of thing. Um, Statistics wise, uh, very similar, just a slight increase over the uh, tier 5 Surus elephant that we get. Um, aggression is very similar. They have a slight increase in body armor, um, I believe. Oh, they don't actually. No, they actually don't have more. They, they have 220 body armor on the Surus elephant. So really, it's basically a very plays out very similar in terms of statistics to the Surus, but it's just a bit quicker. I mean, this has a base a movement speed of 4.1. Um, running that with the, the uh, con apples consumable gives a plus 0.3, takes to 0.4. Um, and then once we get this upgraded equipment, I think that will put us around 0 0.7, 0 0.4, 0 0.7, 0 0.4.8 uh, meters a second movement speed, which is pretty quick when you combine it with Hannibal. It's going to take you sort of like <laughs> well into the fi high fives uh, movement speed once you're on roads and stuff. Um, abilities wise, it shares the same as the Sewers with the Stomp and the Roar, which just gives the morale decrease. And the Stomp does that knockdown. Uh, as I said in the, that, the, the previous Elephant review video, the knockdown, you've got to be careful because... While the damage only affects enemy units, the knockdown is both on enemy and friendly units. So if you walk up to a friendly pipe phalanx and, and do the stomp, you'll knock half of them over. Um, which can be really annoying and quite disruptive to formations. Um, trample movement and the not, the not being affected by the pipe knockback uh, is the same on both the elephants and plays are all very similarly. And there's quite a wide range of consumables. Uh, but I tend not to like consumables with cooldown, I'd rather just have passive buff and the movement speed turn speed is, is a pretty useful one so having said all that um, let's hop into a battle and see how we get on so we've loaded in with our three elephants um, this is kind of an interesting replay It's probably not my, my best ever battle really but I think it just kind of demonstrates what I, I guess what I think is the power of the elephants in terms of their sort of stick ability and survivability um, to hold ground when it's required um, in this case it takes the form of a base defense but initially, straight from the off, I get these guys moving. Um, and just to show you, you know, we're on a road now. I've got Force March activated. And without the upgraded uh, body armor, I'm getting a, a 5.46 base movement speed. And you can see these guys are moving fast. You know, we're flying along now, quicker than most of the infantry. Uh, particularly quicker than the veteran legionaries, which are getting... Uh, well, they're running through through the long grass, but 3.53. You know, we're, we're, at the time we've got the upgraded, upgraded body armor, we're going to be almost double as fast as the Romans. Um, and that gives them kind of a lot of power. So I come down here um, with the intention of advancing up to try and get into an infantry fight around here because there's normally quite a few enemies spawn here and it can be quite a, a good fight which is kind of where the elephants can come into the own is, is charging into those big melee fights because the stomp ends up affecting, affecting a large range of people and you can do a lot of damage very quickly. But as I get to here uh, a friendly elephant captures the spotting point and we see there's uh, two units of high tier javelins and three units of fluorescent yellow Greek, Greek, uh, Greek archers over here which are quite the threat, particularly the javelins will, uh, a tier 7 javelins will be able to wipe out your elephants very very quickly so you really need to watch out for them 
or if you're playing javelins you want to be trying to target the elephants <laughs> and the archers as well can do not quite so much damage because they don't have the weapon penetration damage that the javelins have but they also get that speed debuff multiplier so when your elephants start getting shot at by enemy archers or enemy missile infantry then you will start to uh, lose speed because your elephants don't like uh, running towards archers while they're being shot at so you can end up quite slow if you're not careful so I decide this is not an area I want to be going to, particularly with artillery as well. I just try and get out of that one. So I come down here and try and block these legions off, uh, legion recovery from getting off and getting into our base, which we do successfully. They realise that that's not, not such a good idea to face off with uh, three massive Indian uh, war elephants. But we do start to take some fire from enemy artillery. Um, but all in all, it's not really that effective. You can see we took a hit there, did 4,000 damage. Well, we've got 48 uh, starting health. And the inaccuracy of the artillery kind of makes it hard for them to score successful hits. So I'm coming down here to defend base. Um, and I've got a few choices sort of ahead of me. So there's no one really around which is kind of why I started to then press onto our base to defend. Because uh, particularly with more units moving up they'll be able to catch quite quickly. And possibly be able to catch it before a lot of these infantry units would even be able to get back. Um, and that seems to be so often uh, in a total war arena at the moment is games are lost through base capture. Or, or one through base capture, depending on which which side is doing the capping. But so often it's not a, it's not a fight; it's just a capture. And so I've been trying to sort of focus on that and trying to prevent that for my team. Um, and this is where I think the elephants do really well. So I see some enemy uh, cavalry, and for some reason they don't run away when they could have done so. We just walk into them and start start doing damage. But uh, as an enemy elephant turns up, um, I target one of my one and then two of my elephants off to focus on dealing with his enemy elephant rather than the cavalry, because the cavalry, I mean, as you can see, look, the cavalry has done 430 damage to me. Well, I, that's just nothing. It's basically done no damage at all. Um, so then I target these two to try and take out this elephant. This player here, uh, Zoditi, Zoditi, maybe, uh, kind of makes the error. I think he's trying to, he's right-click to attack this elephant over here, but his friendly cavalry are sort of blocking him. So he can't actually get through to do that, whereas my two elephants on his flank are continually damaging him and as you'll see we're racking up quite a lot of damage now um, on him and he's still not scored any damage with his elephant you can see how effective elephant versus elephant combat actually is but he finally turns around and realizes his mistake and gets a swipe in and this is kind of interesting you'll see here in a minute hopefully yeah so as he's done a swipe there his attack damages both of my elephants oh the uh, loading bits gone but uh, one, when an elephant uh, swings his head it's, even if he's targeting one unit but there's two elephants in front of him, and he'll do damage to both of them. So if he was in Ad Portus at the final stage, you know, with 200% weapon damage increase, you know, he could score 30,000 damage in that one head swipe. Uh, but unfortunately, it was too late. He was targeting this unit for too long, so we were able to get too much damage in him before he was able to do anything, so we were able to kill him quite effectively. But then uh, things start to get a little bit tough. So <laughs> we're now facing off uh, against the cavalry, spearmen, and three units of enemy uh, Roman tier 6 legionaries uh, after having just killed that elephant. So yeah, so I'm really pleased now I came back to base. Uh, I tried to do a stomp to keep them away because obviously the base is now very heavily threatened. So I set these two elephants off to try and deal with the Romans. Um, not, and it's the first time I've really encountered sort of quite how effective vengeance can be against the elephants. So while this guy facing off against uh, the enemy spearmen uh, is having no real trouble dealing with them, taking a very minimal amount of damage. These guys over here are actually taking an awful lot of damage from these uh, Romans using Vengeance. As you can see quite how effective it is. We do get a very good knockdown there. But even so, we've uh, lost an elephant already. See how quickly they actually cut this guy down once they're in full Vengeance. So you do have to be careful of the Roman infantry. And that's probably true of the Carthaginians once they're in their second stage of Ad Portus as well. They can rack up a lot of damage very quickly. So you do have to watch out for that. Uh, these guys are having no problem. Look, we're just racking up a nice amount of damage here against these enemy uh, pikemen. And some friendly Iberian rebels, some tier 6 Carthaginians have turned up and also cutting into them. Um, so there's a bit of a tough one as we're finishing these guys off. I'm unsure whether to try and uh, stay away from these Romans in the hope that the Allies will break combat and, and run out their vengeance. But when it seems like uh, we've got another elephant involved and the rest of the infantry involved, I thought it's best to try and get stuck in to help. So I just break out, get a nice clean run in, and come into the back of these Romans. Start to rack up a bit of damage. Thankfully, because the Romans are targeting the other units, I don't really take any damage from them. Um, this other elephant's having quite a good job of it. 
uh, because these units are targeting the enemy infantry rather than the elephants at the moment. But hopefully you saw, saw earlier kind of how effective uh, the Roman infantry can be against the elephants. Um, and if you're a Roman infantry player, hopefully that sort of gives you a few tips for maybe targeting the elephants. Uh, once you've got Vengeance on, it's not actually that hard to rack up damage quickly. But if, you, if you're without the Vengeance, without that extra melee attack really more than the damage, then you'll have a hard time uh, really defeating these guys. So that's it, we've secured the base basically. And that's kind of what I think the benefit of these uh, elephants are. I faced off with my three elephants against the six enemy units there. Um, who would easily have captured the base if I wouldn't be there. And I've still survived with one left. You know, they really are tough and they can stand there for a long time. Even if they don't uh, completely defeat the enemy units that are capping the base. It gives time for allies to turn up to help. Um, and, th and that's quite a powerful thing to do. If that had just been an infantry I think it would have been overwhelmed and cut down routed very quickly so obviously I, I want, do not want to face the archers and particularly the javelins they're the biggest threat to all elephants so I'm just trying to power through and get away so we get a uh, force march back activated get our speed back up get some good movement there um, and I start to come around here so this is the enemy base we're trying to capture then we've got some archers it's a pretty even battle still but I determined that the biggest threat or, or what I can help the most with instead of chasing archers off the map is to try and deal with these enemy war elephants these tier 7 elephants, they'll be able to slaughter these infantry quite effectively. We've got more uh, infantry coming in which are going to have a hard time dealing with these elephants. So that becomes sort of my aim is to try and do as much damage as I can to these enemy elephants. So they turn one of theirs around. Uh, but we get a bit lucky in the sense that we somehow manage to outflank him a little bit. Uh, so that means we get the nice first hit on him and do a good amount of damage. And we then get an allied elephant come in as well and we start to get quite a bit of damage up on him quickly. Uh, he makes a bit of a mistake in going for a stomp. Uh, if you're in the elephant on elephant fight, you're much more effective not stomping because uh, you, you're trying to sort of jab the enemy elephant with your tusks. The stomping just means you're vulnerable and, and wasting time. But now uh, we kill that one, which is quite good. I was quite pleased with that. But here's where I make a big mistake. Um, I, I get caught on the basically the other elephant. With these other two tier seven elephants coming in, I kind of wanted to pull out uh, over here. So they're either chasing me, or if they're not chasing me, then they're just leaving me alone because I thought I was going to get killed really quickly here. Um, but I get caught on the friendly elephant. You can see the collision model uh, gets stuck. And so that means I take two uh, big hits there and lose a lot of my health uh, while trying to get out. And it doesn't really help me. I would have been better off uh, sticking or fighting, I think, in that case. But um, I then I get out and the other two are focusing on them. So I turn back around and come to get stuck back into the fight again. See if I can get a bit of damage in on the side of this guy. So we get the first strike, but he also gets a strike on me, doing a lot more damage, obviously, at a higher tier, and then he activates Ad Portus, but we do the same. Um, so our two elephants are fighting out. I don't know why my mind's not doing anything. There we go, we get another hit on. The Ad Portus adds a reasonable amount of damage to him, and we're able to kill that elephant from the rear. These two battle out, this one manages to win, so it's all come down to me. It's a bit of a tough fight, I uh, don't know who's going to win, and then we both kill each other, I can believe it. Um, so I was quite pleased with that. We managed to eliminate all three of those elephants, um, which were the main threat to our team. I think if they, if we weren't there to stop them, I think these infantry, these armoured legion leaders would have had a really hard time defeating those three tier sevens. Um, and then our archers are, are fine then to slaughter the enemy archers at the end of the battle, as we then start to move into the base cap. Uh, so I, I, as I say, it's not an exciting battle in terms of uh, the amount of distance travelled. They only walked to our base and then to the enemies, but I think hopefully it kind of shows sort of the stickability of these elephants. I think particularly in the base defence uh, that was kind of important because the fact they were able to survive so long they didn't have to worry about routing. While they claim they have morale, morale doesn't seem to have any effect on elephants at all. You can be right in the middle of a group of enemies and you, you'll never route. So that's really not a problem. Um, so I think they are quite powerful, uh, particularly in that base defence sort of sense. And it also kind of works the other way in terms of base capture. I think you'll see a lot of people using elephants to base cap because uh, units will have a hard time um, preventing them from capping because to, to deal damage with elephants with just an infantry unit is pretty tough going. So hopefully that gives you a bit of a roundup of how these Indian elephants play out. I'm going to be continually progressing up this tech tree up to the next tiers. We start to get armoured uh, elephants at the higher tiers at tier 7 you see we move on to the much more armoured guys um, which is something I'm looking forward to and hopefully they get increased in the movement speeds and the amount of damage they can do which is something I'm sure would be pretty cool. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, please let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, I know there's been quite a lot of controversy with these elephants. They are certainly rather powerful, a little too powerful at times. Um, I think these guys at tier 6 are not quite as powerful as the premium unit at tier 5. 
I think at tier 5 when you're particularly being put into like tier 4 games and you're against Hestati and things like that who don't even have access to Vengeance then you are very powerful. Um, whereas these guys at tier 6 have got more things that can effectively damage them so it makes them a little less powerful but I mean as you saw from that battle I was able to take on 6 units and, and hold for quite a long time before being uh, taking, taking some casualties so you know they are quite an overpowered unit really. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Yeah, as I say, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Please give the video a like. It really does help the channel out and means people can find it easier on YouTube. And subscribe to the channel for more Total War Arena content. Thanks guys, and I shall see you all on the next episode.